This river is a place of healing for Darlene Gilbert, a 60 Scoop survivor. She needs it because she can't get help from the 60 Scoop Healing Foundation. So what are they going to do with that money? I mean, like, we need therapy. Uh, our families need therapy. Um, our children, our grandchildren may. The Mi'kmaq consider the Shubenacadie River sacred and built this treaty truck house in 2016 to protect the river. And now it is a place for ceremony and gathering. Was it brought me back to my people. It brought me back home. It showed me that I can heal. The 60 Scoop settlement provided $500 to $750 million in compensation, but only $500 million for a healing foundation. Catherine LaGrange, a 60 Scoop adoptee, director of the 60 Scoop Legacy of Canada, says the healing foundation has not been enough. Oh, 100% it's lacking. I'd say that um, the communication with survivors has been really poor to date. It's really unclear about how the Healing Foundation intends to directly help survivors. Gilbert is from the Annapolis Valley First Nation. She was taken when she was 10 years old and placed in numerous group homes and temporary spaces. She is calling for a national inquiry to help heal. We deserve a national inquiry. We, be, we should be able to tell the government how they tried to colonize us, break us, take our language, keep us away from our communities. LaGrange agrees an inquiry would provide insight. Make that connection with residential schools, with MMIWG, with the justice system, because we know that, you know, lots of us ended up in these kind of um, unfortunate situations where... Meanwhile, Gilbert is determined to break the intergenerational trauma of colonialism and will continue to visit the river. This is important for this generation, the 60 Scoop, to be able to say, hey, you know, we need this healing in order to break what has come behind us and it doesn't come in the future. The 60 Scoop Healing Foundation did not reply to APTN's request for an interview. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Jabutuk, also known as Halifax.